Capitol, the Hoover Building. Maybe sometimes they would even show you the Washington Monument. But you want to see what's happening in the nation's capital? Come with me. When the fuck is DMV going to have a run like ATL? And I feel like it's about to be our time. But are we ready for it? With go go, and I made it with that dope flow. This one right here for DC, this one right here for Polo. Rap has always been second in DC to go go. You're in your limousine, the party is over. I drive by in my Range Rover. U Street was a place to be in the 90s. We always gravitate towards our own self-identity. We looked at New York as bambas. The labels started taking notice to what was going on here in the DMV that there is a rap circuit here that's real. Radio just did not fuck with us for whatever reason. And that record, that five o'clock, was that door opening. And I had to go above and beyond to get any piece of anything. A word for Wale. What Roscoe, um, what... Wale is the biggest rapper ever from this. And it's not even close. Legendary. What makes Wale so important is just his passion. He opened it wide up. Petra and Shaq Glizzy. I got now, Slutty Boys got next. So Shaq Glizzy session would start off with the first 30 minutes of him being like, I'm the best rapper out here. Uh, uh. I approach XO and I approach YU and I'm like, look, I want to form a group with y'all. And that's when Diamond Edition was born. Yeah, my name is Logic. Logic is wildly underrated. Rico Nasty. I love seeing the fact that Rico's popping. He could have rocked in the 90s. These middle schools, these high schools, they loving the Zanmans. They loving the Money Mars, No Savage, Baby 50, uh, Q the Fool. Like these guys are elevating millions of views on YouTube. We're getting prepared to be the hub of the music. And I feel like it's about to be our time. Southeast, 